Okay, so this is kind of a, a long-term review here. This is the Scorpion 80 HD. It's also known as the Rex 80 HD and has a slightly different color scheme. I think that one has a blue top here, but basically all the same parts. It comes from the same factory, just rebranded. And I've had this for roughly eight months, I believe. You guys uh, can, I'll put the original video video link down in the description. It's been a while. Um, I reviewed it, I flew it, you saw the video, had a little bit of jello. It was nothing, nothing too uh, surprising about that review. Uh, it was an okay, it was an okay flyer. Uh, had a stock tune and everything. But I wanted to dust it off and fly it again and wanted to apply some of the newer firmware that we've seen recently to this to see if that would help with the tuning and the jello. And it turns out that actually it does help. So what I did is I flashed pretty much like all the stuff that I did to the Mobula 6, except I did not apply any of the CLI dump stuff. I just uh, left it as stock. So basically defaults on EMU flights. So I flashed uh, the updated uh, JESC firmware to the ESC. So it's running 48 kilohertz JESC and EMU flight to the flight controller. And I flew it on default PIDs and default filters, and now it flies really nice. Um, I think I get a much longer flight time than before. The sounds a lot smoother, the motors sound a lot smoother, plus I switched to props out, although that probably has something to do with the way it sounds, but these set props sound pretty smooth already, but even sound smoother than, say, like uh, what they sound like on the iFlight Cinebi. These are the same props from the Cinebi 75 HD. So yeah, that was an overall improvement. Um, the motor sounded better, got longer flight time, and you got less jello than before. So yeah, um, if you've got this model from a while back and you're kind of maybe maybe thinking about getting this model or considering getting some other cine, cine whoops out there in the micro class, um, might want to reconsider this one on your list because if you apply these settings and the changes that I made to the Mobula 6, um, to this model, except for the CLI changes. So I'll link that video as well down in the description. Just follow those instructions on this one and you'll get the similar results. You do have to change the props as well to the HQ props to get the similar results that I did. But yeah, I thought it flew really well and you get um, longer flight time and less gel. So that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I'm probably gonna keep this around for a little bit longer than I'm gonna probably sell it at some point pretty soon, so you might want to be on the lookout for that. Link down in the description to my uh, for sale page. Uh, but here's the flight footage. You guys can check it out and compare it to the original video from like eight months ago and see if you think it's better or not. Um, I think it's a lot better. Anyway, here's the flight footage and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hmm. I can already tell it sounds a lot smoother than it was before on the gem fan props. We'll have to see what the uh, HD footage looks like. But looking at it from the FPV view, it looks a lot smoother.
So supposedly I might be able to get some more flight time with 48 kilohertz PWM mode. We'll have to see. I was getting more on the Mobula 6. But two minutes. I think I was getting about two and a half minutes before on the same battery. 300 milliamp hour 3S. Probably should be flying a 450 3S. Probably should be landing pretty soon. I think the battery is just about done. So I'm getting just a little bit more flight time, I think, it looks like. And I'm gonna let it run down to 10.0 volts. Pretty nice uh, tune on default PIDs. There we go, 10 volts. So I am getting more flight time for sure than I was before. 